They say that once in your lifetime, someone comes along whom you're absolutely meant to be with. It's a romantic notion fueled year after year by Hollywood movies that there's someone perfect for everyone, a preordained soulmate. They say when you meet the love of your life, time stops. It's just your mission in life to find this mystery person. Hi. Hi. And that's your split apart or, or your other half or your twin flame or your soulmate, whatever you want to call it. But how will we know when we cross paths with our match made in heaven? What if we've already settled for something less? Get some of their new phones they have to choose from. On the radio, Kiss FM morning crew Jackie and Bender family. make a so great team. That, but off air, sometimes even Jackie wonders, has she married her true soulmate? Well, I mean, you have to be curious, you know, I've been married almost 10 years, so you then you wonder, okay, am I with the person I'm supposed to be with? So you don't know. He's irritating sometimes, so then I, you know, I question it. Computer programmer Jay Krell is 29, single, and still looking. I would definitely like to find someone to share my life with. Yeah, it would, it would mean a lot. With high hopes, Jay and Jackie drive out to the remote lakeside retreat of sixth generation psychic, Christine Winters. Oh, so good to see you. Thank I'm glad you. you could. In 1995, Christine quit her $16 an hour job with the city of Tacoma to develop her psychic abilities, something she now teaches to others through a homemade video called How to Develop Your Psychic Ability. The first thing you want to do with your crystal ball is you want to make sure that it's going to be talking to you or showing you pictures. Can you make out maybe a face there in the corner? Does it look like maybe there's a pathway in there? Christine says she's been aware of her psychic talents since she began sketching dead relatives at the age of three. I was talking to people that weren't there. And to me, I call them cellophane friends because they were like white shafts of light, but that you could kind of see through them. Have you ever seen the movie Predator where he, he that's exactly what they look like. Anyway, with the help of a spirit she happens to call spirit, Christine combines her psychic abilities with her talent as an artist to sketch portraits of often extremely handsome or very beautiful soulmates. So how do you do it? How do you draw somebody's soulmate? I just draw it on the paper. I don't even have to talk to the person. All I need is their name. Okay. Jackie and, uh, so goes Jackie, first. What we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do to so that we can connect with your soulmate is we're going to align your chakras. And so the sketching be And so the ske And so the sketching begins. Let's see what we get here. Oh, he's just got very, very soft eyes. That's what it is. It's not a child, it just has very soft eyes. It's all those strong chin, but a soft face. That's kind of interesting. So now how old is your husband? This guy looks like he's about 15. Okay, we're getting to the point where I can show this to you. Okay, you think my soulmate's Val Kilmer? Val Kilmer, one thing for sure, it ain't Bender. Well, see, now I'm scanning through all <laughs> past my friends. And while Jackie scans down memory lane, Hi, Jay. How are it's you? computer guy Jay so Krell's turn. Let's just skip ahead. Well, yours is a little tougher. Well, okay. <laughs> this is fun. First, she had trouble, which, which she says is very unusual. She, like, nothing was coming to her. So, are you coming in or what? And then she was like, is this human? Are you like a Trekkie or something? No. This is really interesting. Well, it's got some human characteristics, but it also has some other characteristics. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? You're not into sci-fi, huh? No. <laughs> Interesting. Is Jay's soulmate even from planet Earth? He finds out in a moment. I think, you know, I think there's certainly someone for everyone. You know, no one's going to end up alone or not everyone. All right, well, people do end up alone, but I would definitely like to find someone to share my life with. That's why computer programmer Jay Krell finds himself nervously waiting for psychic sketch artist Christine Winters to finish her drawing of his future soulmate.
It was very, uh, almost kind of scary. Most of the soulmates Christine draws look like movie stars. Jay's soulmate? Well... It looks like vampire makeup to me. It's really white skin. Finally, after a few more dashes with a blue pencil. Are you ready? There you go. I don't, I don't recognize the person. <laughs> I don't know what to say. The person uh, looks, um, it's not clear if it's a man or a woman. Uh, well, and I'll tell you another thing about this particular person is although they appear very feminine, they have a lot of masculine energy. Um, I, I agree. They don't look very feminine. There's a lot of masculine energy there. The eyes are, um, they're just at an, at an extremely high angle. It does not look human. Um, but it definitely looks like a human overall. So are you going to be on the lookout for somebody with a slightly alien that. look? A slightly alien look. I don't think I'm going to find someone with a slightly alien look. In the meantime, Jackie is ready to reveal her soulmate portrait to husband Bender. Ready? Right, yeah, let's, let's this is it. my soulmate. What do you think? That's actually your ex-boyfriend. No, I don't think it is. I wish him the best of luck, and I'm sure he'll be living in my home pretty soon. <laughs> See, this is why I went looking for my soulmate. But can I have this psychic stuff? I'd like to know if uh, there's some girl out there waiting for me, because apparently uh, I'll be back on the market pretty soon. I'll embrace it. Christine says her soulmate sketches have helped unhappy women decide once and for all to break up with their men. After all, there's only one true soulmate out there. To me, a soulmate relationship is intense, sudden, and boundary changing. You know, so if you don't like pink hair, your soulmate for sure is going to have pink hair because they, they, they burst your boundaries so that you can grow in this lifetime. If it sounds like Christine is speaking from experience, well, she has been married four times until finally she connected with the soulmate she sketched out for herself. This dashing man she calls Dragon. But once I met Dragon, then I realized that no, there's no question in my mind whatsoever. He is my other half. Absolutely, positively, without a doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, Dragon. Every aspect of my life has changed since I've connected with my soulmate. If I were to die in five minutes, I'd be totally, completely happy and satisfied and fulfilled because the time that I spent with my soulmate was so fulfilling and so perfect of a human experience that I would give up the whole rest of my life just to be with my soulmate for one hour or one day or one year. 